Alrighty, I'm here with Bob Lowe at the Lizard Island Black Marlin Classic. So Bob, what year are we in now? This is the 28th um, Lizard Island Black Marlin Classic. Sure thing. The first one held out at Cooktown due to the yeah. cyclone. And so how many boats have we got competing this year? Uh, 23. 23, okay. I saw the, uh, the sail bar this morning, yeah, pretty yeah. impressive. Looked good. So the boats are all heading out to the outer reef, is that correct? Yes. And they're primarily chasing black marlin? Black marlin is the only target species. Okay, so no blue marlin, striped marlin? Oh, blue marlin and, um, and striped marlin on camp, but you don't get them here. Okay, sure. Then. Very, no stripes, you very rarely get them Sure, here. okay. And this area is obviously famous for the thousand pounder. Any boats got one so far? Uh, no, there's two 800 pounders been tagged this morning uh, sure that thing. I know of. And, uh, the live stats are still coming in and okay. uh, they're being entered at the moment on their uh, website. Yep. Um, the 2,000 pounders, who, oh, the two 800 pounders, sorry, who caught them? Um, Sharon Poulter, a lady angler, uh, okay. yep. got, got the uh, first one and um, I can't call them on the, the yep. current other one. Check sure it on the website. Okay, great. So what, what's the website? Uh, lizardislandgfc.asn.au yep. Okay, sure thing. So uh, how long does the tournament run for? It's a seven day event yep. and the, uh, it'll finish next Saturday of course and the presentation will, will be here in Cooktown. Okay. And are the boats allowed to fish every single day? Yeah, they can fish as many days as they like. Yep. They, not, uh, they can have a day off if they want, but yep. most, none of them do. Yeah. And uh, it's gentleman hours fishing, they start at 11am and oh. finish at uh, 5.30. So it gives plenty of time in the morning to uh, catch bait and snorkel and dive and, sure. and do all the other things that uh, international uh, anglers like to do. Yeah, sure thing. So the, a lot of the fishing up here is it skip baiting? Is that the sort of thing they do for the big big marlin? They skip bait and uh, rig baits to swim and uh, also some use lures yep. or a mixture of both baits and, and a lure. Okay. But generally speaking it's a, it's one, uh, one boat rig bait rigged to swim sure. and uh, a big, uh, bigger bait for, to skip. Okay, and tell me, uh, has there been a few memorable catches over the years? Oh yes, there's, uh, I've, I've uh, caught five granders myself uh, over the years and uh, other people, you know, have caught some really big fish yeah. up to 1,300 pounds. Beautiful. Yeah. It's old man of the sea stuff, isn't it? It is. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> Good stuff, mate. And so you're the president of the uh, club? I'm president and tournament director. Sure. Mm. How, how long have you been doing that for? Since it started. Really? Good stuff. Okay. And uh, so you did a lot of fishing in the earlier days? Yes. Cool. Yeah, I always put my own boat up yep. every year and uh, this is the only year that I haven't uh, had it up yet. Oh, actually. really? Yeah. It must be a bit uh, hard sitting on the sidelines. It is. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> But uh, trying to run it out of Cooktown, that's where I've got to be. Yep, sure thing. All right, well, we're at uh, Cooktown at the moment, and I'm going to go head out there tomorrow, have a bit of a fish, see if I can catch one. But uh, yeah, other than that, thanks for your time, mate. Get a big one and put a satellite tag in it. I will. Don't forget we've got those satellite tags. Okay, there. I'll come grab some. Okay. Thanks, Bob. Thank you.